Bitcoin is not going to make you rich. Don't buy Bitcoin if you're trying to get rich. And even though I'm already rich, I'm also not going to be buying any more Bitcoin during this crypto bull market. And I know what you're thinking. <gasps> Shock. How could you? Traitor. Get him. Burn my life. Look, if you think Bitcoin is going to make you rich this cycle, then you're welcome to buy it. But I think you've probably been misled. You've been lied to. And I love Bitcoin. I want to make that very, very clear. But I also want you to get rich. And I also want to take the best rewards possible for this cycle. I want you to sail away with your beautiful wife and kids on a yacht and live your best, happiest life while the world crumbles in the next bear market. And to be clear, Bitcoin is my number one holding in my portfolio. But the days people making wildly rich, crazy wealth out of Bitcoin are kind of over. Bitcoin, still a great investment, but as far as making you rich, not really going to happen. You need to take more risk. You need to think beyond Bitcoin. You need altcoins. So let's talk about why I'm not buying any more Bitcoin at this point in the cycle. Who should be buying Bitcoin and who should not be buying Bitcoin? So why am I not buying any more BTC? It's a simple equation for me. Risk versus reward. Bitcoin, low risk, low reward. Number one portfolio holding. Best case scenario from here, though, for this cycle for Bitcoin, best case, best, best, best case, 10x. And that's really the best, best case. Much more realistic, 3 to 5x. But if Bitcoin does a 10x, then guess what? A lot of mid-cap altcoins are going to do 30, 40, 50, 100x returns. And understand that I say this as someone who already has significant Bitcoin holdings, which I have held for years and which are in profit, which makes it easy to hold them. But they've underperformed versus a lot of altcoins when the bull cycles are here. I am balls deep in Bitcoin. I love the orange coin. But, 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 Lark, what about the ETFs? What about BlackRock? What about, what about? Yes, yes, that's all true. The game is changing for Bitcoin. But if Bitcoin does 100% move, then altcoins do much, much bigger moves. Bull cycle. Bitcoin from 50K to 100K, it's 100% gains. But most mid-cap altcoins will 5 to 10x during that period. Bitcoin ETFs are big, and it's a market-wide liquidity event that won't just affect Bitcoin. Yes, money enters via Bitcoin, and number goes up for Bitcoin, but this creates a market-wide frenzy as the wealth effect starts to happen for holders, and people start seeking bigger returns versus Bitcoin. So here I am, looking at cash in hand. For example, I got $50. If I buy $50 of Bitcoin today and this goes up to 100 k then I have an extra 50 bucks. That's awesome. I got 100 bucks now. Great. But had I taken that 50 bucks and bought a random altcoin in the mid-cap zone or even some big cap, then that would have turned into 1, 2, 3, 4, 500 bucks, 450 bucks profits. Look, I can buy more Bitcoin with that extra money or I can just take that money and put it in my pocket. Anyway, maybe you take 200 bucks, put it in your pocket, 200 bucks, put it in Bitcoin, 100 bucks, try and get the next 10x coin. Obviously, it's not that easy, but you get the general idea. So while it's totally true that Bitcoin is going to go up big time, thanks to American Bitcoin ETFs and the coming ETFs in Hong Kong and the coming ETFs in Korea and the general just buzz around Bitcoin during a bull market, altcoins are going to outperform dramatically. Oh, there'll be moments when Bitcoin outperforms. And now to be clear, when I say I won't be buying any more Bitcoin, doesn't mean I won't ever get any more Bitcoin ever. Profits from altcoins, for example, I'm probably going to roll some of those back into BTC. Depends on where we are in the cycle. May just hold cash. And of course, I will accumulate more Bitcoin in the next bear market using the cash from the altcoins from this cycle. But fresh cash into Bitcoin at this point doesn't make a whole huge amount of sense to me. So who is Bitcoin for? Who should actually be buying Bitcoin now, in my opinion, not financial advice? Good question. Before I answer that, though, if you are not yet signed up to the Wealth Mastery newsletter, then I got bad news for you because you are missing the heck out. But the good news is you can get signed up today. You got to check this out. Best damn newsletter in the cryptocurrency industry. Every issue jam-packed full of value and alpha on airdrops, NFTs, DeFi, altcoins, and so much more. Join our 100,000 plus weekly readers for free using the link down below in the description. So who is Bitcoin for? Because you can absolutely still be buying Bitcoin. Remember, my bags are huge, so I'm a Bitcoin believer. 
but I don't need to buy any more Bitcoin now because I see bigger reward potential in altcoins. And look, stories about Michael Saylor are awesome, but that dude's already a billionaire. He can't go out and ape into a $10 million market cap altcoin. You with your 10, 20, 30, $40,000 portfolio, you're not Michael Saylor. He can 10X his wealth long-term because he can take a billion dollars and turn it into 10. You can't do that and have the same sort of crazy gains total value wise. You need altcoins. You need to risk life and live in the altcoin jungle. But here's why you should buy Bitcoin anyway. Number one, Bitcoin is freedom money. And increasingly Orwellian world, Bitcoin shines bright as totally censorship resistant money. It goes beyond just gains. If you want to buy Bitcoin for that reason, good reason to buy it. Number two, you're done with fiat and you don't want to get rich quick with altcoins. You just primarily don't want to go poor slow with fiat. So buying Bitcoin helps you preserve your purchasing power long term. Good reason to buy Bitcoin at any time, regardless of what's going on in the markets. Number three, you already have money. And like Sailor, you want an easy way to have a very, very liquid asset that can turn a million bucks into three, four, five million bucks in the next 24 months with very low risk, quote unquote. Number four, you want a long-term wealth preservation asset, something to take the place of gold in your portfolio, something you're going to be holding for 10 or 20 years. That's Bitcoin. Something that, unlike gold will continually go up massively over time. And number five, you made money in altcoins, and now you want to bank some of those profits back into the big boy, back into Bitcoin for any one of the four reasons previously mentioned. Okay, so there's still lots of great reasons to buy Bitcoin. Just don't buy it to get rich because it's not going to make you rich this cycle. It'll make gains, but it won't make you rich. And now who should not be buying Bitcoin? Not financial advice. Obviously, just my opinion, but crypto is risky and you can lose all of your money, okay? Especially when we start talking about altcoins, risk is massive. There's a risk statement as well as a portfolio disclosure down below in the description. Anyway, if you have less than a hundred thousand dollar portfolio, you probably don't need to be buying any Bitcoin unless it's for the top four reasons that we mentioned just there previously. You probably even want to think twice about buying Bitcoin if you have a million dollar portfolio. Maybe it's just a small allocation, not the whole portfolio, not half portfolio. And again, I love Bitcoin. And I'm balls deep in Bitcoin. I'm not selling here, but that's because I bought Bitcoin for much, much less than it's currently worth. Risk reward. Bull markets on, and until otherwise observed, it is time to take risks. At least that's what I'm doing. Maybe I'll prove me wrong by the market. The market has a way of humbling people. That'd be clear as well. Long term, most altcoins will underperform versus Bitcoin. Short term, during the bull market, most are going to dramatically outperform versus Bitcoin. Long term, especially during the next bear market, most altcoins will either underperform versus Bitcoin or they will completely fail and die and go to zero. Which is why we take our profits at some point. The fat lady will come home, the cows will sing, and it'll all be over. And you either sell those damn altcoins or they go to zero. When that happens, you either take your profits or the market will take them for you. It's just that simple. I don't make the rules, man. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Your Bitcoin can be held multi-cycle if you are ready for that 75% drop in the bear market. If you're just exiting fiat, again, those top four reasons, great. But most altcoins, most will die. And the ones that don't will drop 95%. Maybe you get a good one. It only drops 85% in the next bear market. Look, you either lock in the gains and you sail away on the yacht with the wife and the kids and you have the most beautiful life you can possibly imagine or you spend the bear market being a community member with other people who didn't sell in some Reddit chat crying yourself to sleep. Fun times. Thanks for watching.